Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. My name is William. In today's tutorial, we are going to look at passing a JSON file and saving the data in the database. And this tutorial will only work for Laravel version 10.51 onwards. So if you are working with Laravel versions that are previous, you will have to watch another video that I have also created to, together with this one. Now, um, I would like us first of all to have a JSON file. So in this case, we are going to create a JSON file in storage app public. And here, I would just like us to have a file and we are going to call it users.json. And then inside here, we are going to put in some data. And the first thing that I want us to have is uh, the ID of the user. So in this case, we can say ID is um, one. And then we can also have the name of the user. And here we can uh, put just any name, maybe James. Uh, name like that and then uh, the email we can have James at uh, example dot uh, net and then we are also having to yes those three I think are just good enough after that, um, I want to just copy this one and paste it down here and edit a little bit. So we will have a comma here. And then we are going to paste the next one. So we have a user with an ID of 2. Uh, maybe, yes, I have deleted something. Yes, a user with an ID of 2. And uh, then the name is uh, maybe Alison. Uh, the, the second name can be repeated and here maybe we can have Alison at example.net so we have two users in our database I mean in our JSON file now the next thing that we are going to do I would like us to create a controller so in this case we are going to open terminal and uh, create a uh, a user so in this case I mean create a, a user controller so we open terminal and in terminal we are going to run the command php artisan make controller and then user controller that we will create a user controller inside the controller I would like us to do several things so since we will be using the user model I would like to import it here so we can uh, just say use app models user like that and then we are going to have a method here and we are having public function and then we will call this method maybe save user something of that sort and then inside here we are going to fetch our user from uh, the JSON file and so we will use uh, the storage method so in this case we are going to just uh, say records and we are going to say storage and then JSON. This is the very new helper that have, has been uh, created by the Laravel team. It can be able to assist us. It does uh, fetch the JSON and also it does decode the, decodes the JSON. And then after that, now we can be able to uh, loop through it. So public. This is the location of our JSON file, users, the name of the file is users.json, like that. 
after that the next thing we are just going to now loop through and be able to save our user so we can have a, a for each loop in this case i can say records as record and then after that we can be able to put it in a closure and then we can be able to access uh, our record so i'm going to save all this data in a new user instance the user model instance and then uh, we are going to have the id so user id in this case we are going to just say record id you access it like that then we have user name and we are going to access it as record name like that from our json file we'll have user email we will access it as record email that way and then the other thing is that uh, if we are using the default user table we will also require to have a password so i'm going to just have user password so this one we are just going to create here and we are going to create using uh, a helper str um, password and since we need to hash it uh, we will still go ahead and uh, hash it so i'm going to say be crypt be crypt like that and then it will be able to hash our password that way and then now the next thing that we are going to do is to save this user so we can say uh, user save and then after we have been able to save our user i would like to do the following i would just like to return return that is outside that function return uh, user users created successfully our record has only two entries but if the entries are many then you can be able maybe to also chunk the records to just enable you to move properly here we have a typo supposed to be name and i think every other thing seems to be fine now we need a uh, a route that you'll be calling this method so uh, you want us to go to routes web.php and we are going to import our controller so use app http controllers and then we are going to have a user controller after that i would like us to just create a route i want to remove everything here all this commented uh, data and down here i would like us to just have a route that is a get route in this case we are going to just call it save user like that after that we are going to call in our controller plus the method so in this case i will say user user controller class then i will put a comma and put our method i think we called it save user like that now you close everything with a semicolon and um, i would like us to attempt and see what happens so our um, mysql and apache is running in our local machine so in this case we can be able to have access to database 
and then uh, in our ENV if you check our ENV we have just the default values so in this case for the database we have it as a with uh, with the database name of Laravel and then the username is root and the password is an empty string and I have another table in my in my machine which has the same credential so I'm going to just refresh it I'm going to say PHP uh, tsun migrate if you do not have a table like that and you want to re to remove the details and upload again you will just hit enter at this moment but in this case for me I'm going to say fresh such that it drops all the tables and then uh, uh, reads or in other words fills the does the migration again so after that now that we have a new table i would like to now run my development server using php artisan serve like that and in this case our server is running so let us open chrome we have a chrome window i will visit localhost 8000 and then forward slash save user i think that is how i've called it and here you can see app http controller storage not found we have not been able to import the storage facade and i think there's one more thing that we have not done so let us do that now so i will use scroll upwards here and then we are going to um say use illuminate support facade and then storage and that one will work for us and then the other thing is use str because there is uh, this function that we are using to to generate our password this one here is the reason why i have used that one there so i want us to attempt again and uh, refresh and you can see user created successfully i would like us to go to our database and see if that is the case so i would like to open the database laravel and when we scroll downwards i would like us to check the users table as you can see our users table has two records if I open this user's table, you are going to see that we have James Kamau, Alison Kamau, and the email that we were able to set in our JSON file, and also the password saved perfectly in the database. So basically, that is how you can be able to save, uh, read a JSON file, and save it in the database using the JSON helper that Laravel has created uh, for us. And as I said, this one can only be used for Laravel 10 and, and above. Thank you very much for following this tutorial up until this point. I ask that if you have not subscribed, that you may please subscribe. It really means a lot to me. Thank you very much.